Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Hasif bin Muhammad Hashim. My matrix number is 20091. Hi, my name is Muhammad Muzaffar Shabi Azmi. My matrix number is 202972. Today, we are going to talk on face and body shaming should not be normalized in our daily life. Body shaming is the action or practice of humiliating someone by making mocking or critical comments about their body shape or size. It can happen in many ways as we can see nowadays. Firstly, we will condemn our own appearance by a comparison with others such as, I am so ugly compared to him. Then, criticizing another person's appearance in front of them such as, this shirt will never suit on you because of your fatty body. And, criticizing another's appearance without their nose. No matter how this manifests, it often leads to comparison and shame and also sustain the idea that people should be judged mainly because of their physical fitness. Next slide. In fact, body shaming can lead to mental disorders. People are body shamed when they look overweight or underweight or don't fit society's sight of thin and beautiful. I think that our culture loves the ideology of a perfect body whether it be in movies, televisions, or online. Seeing someone who doesn't fit the mold is not considered acceptable to some. Research found that peer victimization can be instantly predicted by WIC and 64% of students enrolled in WIC loose programs reported experiencing WIC-based victimization. While body shaming has been in society for many of the times, the internet and social media platforms such as Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, have brought it to an all-time heart. With millions of users signing on each day, social media platforms open the door for individuals and companies to share unrealistic expectations of an other body. Technology has made the focus on appearance easier and given way to a platform that invites body shaming and bullying more frequently. Instagram is one of the most use social media networks with over 200 million users daily. Keyboard Courage plays a key role in making helpful comments toward, online, toward others online. It's a quite to disgrace someone when behind the screen, making them feel insufficient. Posting body shaming comments to those they know and don't know. Leave individuals' emotions as if there are no repercussions of their words. Next slide. Body shaming also can lead to eating disorders. Teenagers are particularly prone to developing eating disorders and body shaming doesn't help the situation. Eating disorders such as anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa can develop when a person has a warped look of their own body. While some people with anorexia and bulimia will suffer weight changes, their self-perception does not always change. This causes them to continue with their extreme limit to lose even more weight. Over time, these eating disorders can lead to the following issues such as malnutrition, poor physical health, organ damage, and other mental health disorders. Treatment offered takes a long time and sometimes eating disorders need to be fought for a lifetime. Without treatment, these disorders can even become fatal. Moving to our next point, face and body shaming can also lead to loss of esteem and insecurity. We may think that everything we did is just a joke and play around, but not to the victim. They tend to take everything serious and matter in their life. They will start to doubt their appearance on public. This leads them to question themselves. Am I that fat? Am I too ugly? And so on. Besides that, it will get harder for the victim to form positive self-image and emotion when they feel insecure and have a low self-esteem. Whenever there's some toxic or negative surrounding, that kind of unhealthy vibes can influence them. We may not notice this, but a single negative comment can affect people's spirit and emotions. This is why it's hard for them to be positive all the time. Now, as a human being, what should we do? As a peer, we should give them some moral support to the victim. We can compliment them a lot frequently by telling them that they are so beautiful or handsome. From parents' perspective, we can check on the children from time to time 
and give them a shoulder to lean on. By doing this, the children can be more open to the parents about their life and problems. As for government, we can organize campaigns that are related to this issue. Wait for example, for instance, we can organize possible fun run for obese people. To add, we can use social media effectively to educate our society on this issue. Before I end our presentation, here's some fun fact. On 16 October 2019, face and body shaming is a part of a crime under cyberbullying, said Ministry of Health Malaysia, MOH. The Act of Law was created under Section 233, Bracket 1B, the Act of Communication and Multimedia Malaysia under Act 588. If you are found guilty, you can be fined up to 50,000 ringgit Malaysia or one year jail or both. The reason behind this act of law is because the number of mental health cases keep increasing as well as societal cases. That's all from us. Thank you.